Good morning to the Saints of North Creek and the Saints well beyond. Uh, it is Wednesday, and again, it is time for our 10-minute weekly Wednesday Bible study. We have been going along with the theme of um, reshaping our lifestyle. And I'm going to be reading to you uh, from 1 Peter, the second chapter, beginning at the first verse. Here, the word of the Lord. Therefore, rid yourself of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like a newborn baby, crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Uh, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, the living stone, Jesus the Christ, rejected by men, but chosen by God and precious to God. You also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that you'd open our hearts and our minds, that not only would we be hearers of your word, but that we would be doers of your word. Peter reminds us that Jesus is that cornerstone, the cornerstone that was rejected and tossed away by men, but the cornerstone that God has put into place so that the walls and the structure would be straight and true and strong. Without the cornerstone, that cannot happen. But also important are the living stones that God is using for to build the whole structure, the whole kingdom. When we are those living stones. Isn't that amazing? You ever look at a big stone structure and notice that those stones are all so different? You know, some of them have protrusions out and little indentations or maybe some cracks or uh, big ones, small ones. They're all somehow fit together to make this structure complete. That's us, those living stones. And furthermore, we are told that we're going to be built into a stone bridge a stone bridge, that's what it says, I think, because it says that we're the priesthood, a holy priesthood. The job of a priest is to be a bridge, to be a bridge between humankind and God, to bring humankind and God together, to carry people over that troubled water, and to bring them into the presence of the Lord. Uh, isn't that amazing, a bridge over troubled water? made out of living stones. And there's so many uh, people out there. Uh, there's those that can walk over that bridge, and we'll walk over it if we build it. There's those who can't be, uh, won't walk over the bridge. They're too broken. They're too lost. Uh, they're too damaged. They just can't do it unless someone carries them over. And we have to be the ones, the living stones. We can't just be a stone and a wall, but a living stone to help carry the broken, the damaged, uh, the ones who think they don't matter, the ones who they think that nobody cares. We are the ones to carry them over that bridge. I read a story about a, a man who said he visited one of his friends, and uh, the couple had a very young daughter. And, and she was running around playing while he was there. And she had come over with a, with a doll and was showing it to him. And she mentioned that she had more than a hundred dolls from all over the world. And the man said, I asked her, I said, well, tell me, which, which doll do you love the most? And the little girl goes, oh, I'll go get her. And she goes running off and out of sight. And the man imagines something really terrific. You know, she has all these exotic dolls from all over the world. Maybe a, one with a china face with one with an elaborate kind of dress or whatever. And she came running out and she had this doll, this stuffed doll. It had missing fingers. The nose was broken on it. Uh, the uh, One of the seams was open a little bit and stuffing was coming <laughs> out of the doll. And he said, wow. He says, why, why do you love her more than any other doll? And the little girl, you know, said, well, if I didn't love her, who would? The little girl was being a living stone, making a stone bridge for a rag doll, for a tattered rag doll. And I think that's a perfect example of being a living stone, and we need to take that example. And we need to find those tattered rag dolls. 
the ones who are emotionally, spiritually, are tattered and have their stuffing coming out. And then we need to say, if not us, who is going to let them know that God loves them so deeply? If not us, who is going to put our arms around them and tell them how precious they are and how much they mean to us? If not us, who? If not us, who will be the living stones? And I believe that that's what Peter is talking about here in this letter. So I'd like us to think about that. And let's ponder it and let's pray about it and see if we can't be a really great living stone in the bridge that carries people over those waters that are so dangerous for them. May the Lord add a blessing to all of us. Amen.